Welcome back. It's 1030. It's time for some celebrity dish. And today we have our girl, the diva chef, Elise with us. Good to see hey, you. It's good, good to see you. Oh, good yes. to see Listen, you. Listen, that rain yes. ain't no joke outside, y'all. We're spring. We wait for it to spring. <laughs> We're waiting right with you. <laughs> We're spring. It didn't spring. And you should have yes. seen her. She didn't just walk in here. She sauntered <laughs> in the you studio. Wanna, you want to do it first? You want to saunter I'm cracking up. You want, you want to see a little saunter? Give it to the people. Work what? it. What? Now, 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 you see this physique here? It is, it, it is nothing to play with because it, 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 this is a real deal physique yeah. thing. I mean, you, yeah. you're in physique competition. Professional. Well, bikini competitor, because there is a category called physique that are, they're huge, but. Right, yes. that's a different category. Yes, yeah, that's a different category altogether, but okay. it definitely is hard work, and I mean, consistency is the most important thing when you're staying in shape. Yeah. yeah. Now, what about you? Well, and the category is phenomenal. I mean, let's wow. just say. I think I'll be gassing every time I come in. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to show some workouts and things yes. we can all do mm -hmm. to kind of listen. Tighten things up, lift things up. Period. It's life changing when you really figure out how to correctly train your glutes. Yeah. I think a lot of people think it's just squats, right? But there's three main muscle groups to your glutes that if you train them all, you get that rounded glute effect. Forget BBL. All right. That's and it is better hot booty day. with lunges, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the natural features. Yeah. We're going to do that on the lion lunge yeah. already. Yeah. 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 Right. So right. That should all be right. fun. We're going to have some fun with that. All, all, right. Right. <laughs> all right, guys, so let's just dive right on into okay. it. Uh, so this is developing right now a story for us, the latest in the federal investigation of hip-hop mogul Sean Diddy Combs. Now, we all know the rapper and producer's lawyer speaking out after the entertainer's homes were raided by the Department of Homeland Security. Attorney Aaron Dyer saying in part yesterday there was a gross overuse Use of military level force. Diddy's team maintaining the star is innocent. Yeah, TMZ yeah. releasing photos of the aftermath of that raid. They went through his office drawers, safe, removing clothes and shoes from his closet, and leaving his home pretty disheveled if you look at it. While those raids were happening, TMZ captured Diddy talking to agents as they intercepted his plane. Now, the agents oh. taking one of his associates, 25 year old Brendan Paul, into custody on drug charges following the search. We're learning Paul was name dropping uh, Rodney Jones in a lawsuit against Diddy. Mm. Monday's raid comes as the New York federal investigation continues into or continues to uh, rather look into Diddy's involvement into sex trafficking. Agents were seen on the ground heavily armed in helicopters swarming his residence. Now two of the star's sons were put in cuffs while they searched the property. It is still not certain if he's the target of this investigation. Yeah, there's a, a whole lot there. We should yeah. say at this point there are still allegations, right? Mm -hmm. Allegations of, of sex trafficking and other charges. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you make of this, Elise, all of this fallout around I, I, I think it's a lot, but I think where there's smoke, there's fire. Um, and I don't think that, you know, you can get away with stuff for only so long before it starts to catch up with you. And, you know, I, I understand the whole people are going to come for a paycheck type of thing and see one and then it's a spiral out of control thing. But why are you hopping a plane out of here if you ain't nothing, ain't nothing going on, you know? Yeah, so. well, well, they did say that he had already planned that trip. So he was already going uh, on vacation, which is something that he typically does once a month uh, from what he has reported. But I do think that the challenge, like you said, is once things like this happen, mm -hmm. it's hard to slow that snowball from happening. Yeah. You know, it's, it's hard to slow that thing from, from going into really a big mess after this point. And we saw that after Cassie spoke out, you know, right before that New York law expired that uh, just gets rid of all the statute of limitations, we saw a couple more lawsuits being filed uh, mm. about this. So definitely a whole lot to just stay on top yeah, of. And yeah. then he settled within, I believe, 24 hours. Yes, and so that definitely raised the alarm yeah. for many people out there. And you have so many other uh, celebrities and attorneys coming out talking about these rumors that are decades in the making. Mm -hmm. And so you say where there's smoke, there's fire. Yeah. Evidently, the federal authorities start, let's look into this yeah. and see what's there. So I think we're going to be covering this for quite some time. Yeah, and they're looking for things very specific to those charges like guns, drugs, mm -hmm. and technology to kind of showcase those claims about maybe having pornography or at least filming some of those acts. Those are some of the alleged crimes in this one. Uh, but we don't know if that's going to be what they find. So we'll have to wait and see what the investigation reports on. And the resigning from revolt, too. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, selling, selling it off. Yeah. Well, one thing I will and say. And the school. He had a school that he resigned from as oh, well. Yeah. yeah. TMZ has been on top of yeah. this. Like white on mm. rice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, if there's any new development, rest assured, uh, they're going to get it even down to the videos I mean, from the raid. 
made that they were able to get and actually showed us that in their last hour. But we'll continue to follow Diddy, the allegations, and any uh, potential court cases uh, that can come well out of here, this. Though. Yeah, he's pacing back and forth. It's a lot on his mind, I'm yeah. sure. I'm sure. <laughs> All right, so let's shift now to the one and only Monique Samuels. And she has no plans on returning to the Real Housewives of Potomac. And it comes after the internet was set on fire after news of a major reconstruction of the show. Now, viewers had ideas of what the show should look like to make it entertaining since, uh, again, other seasons were rocky, the cast members not really getting along, others say it was dry, mm. and many suggested, you know what, bring back Monique, but she has no plans of doing that, posting on Instagram a photo of her saying, nope, don't ask, click the link in bio, beautiful people, and catch me on the radio every morning. She mm -hmm. is through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I didn't get to see that version of Monique Samuels. I mean, I, I, of course, coming in the DMV, and she's been on our show. She's a yeah. friend of the show. Uh, seeing her in the morning capacity, and morning anchor capacity on the radio is yeah. great. Um, I think it's hard to kind of pivot back to that once you got mm -hmm. your start there and you got all you can get out of that. It's hard to pivot back into that hole. Mm -hmm. that you're in. Well, I can also understand why fans probably thought that she'd give it another, you know, second thought possibly since Candace is leaving. We all saw mm -hmm. what happened in season six when they had the, that big fight at the winery. So, I mean, at least now we heard from her. Don't expect it, even though there are big changes when it comes to Candace and Robin not being on the next season. Yeah, and we all remember that fight. Yeah, that it's she hard had to forget. And people are it still talking about it. It's like a, an emotional toll, a yeah. reputational yes. uh, toll on her. Mm -hmm. She's just now getting out of a divorce. She has bigger fish to fry, yeah. uh, as they say, than going back to reality TV in that mm -hmm. fashion. And yeah. I think that's what she's speaking to. Um, that's definitely something I can speak to being on Hell's Kitchen twice. And yeah. everyone's always like, you should go a third time. I said, absolutely not. Because it takes years to rebuild your image yes. when you go on a reality TV show that has certain characters in mind that they mold. You know, they only show, if you're watching a 30 minute episode, they're only seeing a small portion of your personality. Oh, yeah. And people take that and they run with it, right? So I can definitely understand that she's like, no, on the bigger and better things. I'm not yeah. returning backwards because again, what, rebuilding your image, once you get the ball rolling on that, you're yeah. unstoppable. That's we hard. gotta give people the, the ability to just change and shift when they need exactly. to Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and she's doing a lot. I mean, it's not like she's sitting around. No, she's Look, doing she's her thing. <laughs> she's in the skincare business <laughs> yeah. on the radio. Mm -hmm. And then we'll actually have much more from her on Fox 5 in a couple of weeks as well in terms of next steps for, yeah. for Monique. So good for her and good for you for joining <laughs> us. Yeah.